Hello everybody, awesome we 360 here, self-proclaimed awesomest person on YouTube. Okay, so what we are doing today, as you can see, is playing more Waste's Edge. Now, there's a couple things that I need to say about this. One thing is, off camera, I've been playing a lot of games and how I said Minecraft was not working properly. It's it doesn't seem to be just Minecraft, it seems to be everything else too. And that I think is because I own Razer Mice, well, a Razer Mouse, and the drivers don't like Razer products on Linux, so yeah, that's kind of sucky. So sometimes, while well, I was playing Counter-Strike just against bots because I suck ass, anyways, I was, uh, you know, for some things you need to scope, so I right-clicked to scope. And uh, it's like I'm holding down right click and it keeps zoom zoom out zoom zoom out all over and over and over and over and over again. So, so yeah, right now, because I uh, kind of don't want to give up the Razer Naga, which I'm using, because I love the 1 to 12 nice pad on the side of it. Great for MMOs. I'm going to have to look for a solution for that, for Linux, because it's definitely still not working. It works on and off, so I can right click some things just fine, or left click things just fine, then suddenly it will double a click, or sometimes it will permanently click until I click the button again, and sometimes it won't respond at all, so we're going to be playing this game, it's a keyboard game, so shouldn't have any errors like that and also if you stuck around long enough I will tell you something awesome there is this it's a scratch ticket that's gonna be done at the end of this video and you know why cuz I like that sort of thing gives you something to look forward to in the end and it also something I want to do and maybe you guys will give me good luck okay so I love the game okay so where we last off where we last left off is in here and we talked we got into the waste edge, which was some trading town, and we're in the inn, and we're we've got ourselves a room, and we've uh, talked to innkeeper and a couple people, and they seem pretty nice. Uh, we're clients of Lady Silverhair, and she uh, is accused of stealing shit, so we gotta find out if she actually did or what happened. So. That's pretty much all that happened right now. So, time to... Uh, I think they said she was upstairs, so... Let's see if I could talk to her. Uh, no one's there. Oh, a chest. I like chests. E? Enter? What was it? What was it? Interact? I'm sure it was space. I'll say it was space. Can I open you? Ah. Well, let's see. How the heck do I... It is space. Okay, I'm just making sure because... Uh, you're mean, racist. I'm a half elf. So, space is to interact with things again, and that means I can't steal whatever's in this chest, which is unfortunate because it's the best thing to do in RPGs. Just lift everyone's shit. Okay. Hello? Hello? Housekeeping? Hello? So maybe she was downstairs, because I'm sure that she was locked. She locked herself in the inn. Uh, no, that's. Uh, 
is left and right. Who are you? What do you want from me? I don't know anything. Well, with Lady Silver Hair, then trying to prove her innocence. Do you know what happened to you? <coughs> Filnir looks supre suspiciously at you. He absolutely jots something down in the notebook and shifts one to be slightly. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Ask someone else. Anybody, I, I just keep to myself and don't know anything. He turns his attention back to his work, pouring over the array of steaming liquids and decanters of unknown, of unknown origin. You cannot seem to get his attention again, so he might hex us in. Let's not poke him again. Uh, is she here, perhaps? That, that's sunshine, but it kind of looks like a spider web. Uh, so... Where the heck would I find... Oh! Maybe just down here. Oh, halt there. No one's allowed into prisoner's room. Just who are you to prevent me? And just who are you to prevent me from entering, sir? My name is Jalon. Okay. I remember that name. Chief of the Guard. Ah, my name. Syndax of Investigating Theft. Okay, beautiful. You investigate the theft, you don't look at all like the officers in uh, Bregorn, Bregon for, which means you believe you can meddle in my affairs. What makes you think? My mistress has been wrongly accused, and I intend to clear her name. Okay, this is when people turn on me. Listen, half elf, the theft and any investigation to business of the guard are none of yours. But by the looks of it, the only way to keep your nose out would be to lock you up. So I'll prevent you from. Uh, pestering the folk at the end, but should you find out anything, you report to me, you understand? Now, what is it you want from me? Can you p tell me what happened? No, I can't. Talon was on guard. You won't tell me anything about your own investigation? Then look, half health, I'm getting pretty damn tired of you and your questions. This is investigation it has nothing to do with you, so why don't you keep your nose out of it? Now, get the hell out of here. Ah, <sighs> so, so much distrust. I heard. I thought I heard that they were useless gems or whatever earlier, so... I don't know why everyone's... Oh. He he moved again, so let's not talk to him. Hmm. Downstairs. I think this is where... Uh, uh, it was a goblin, I think? Yeah. I think this is where the goblin did the business. You try, you try the door, but find it locked. From within the room, you hear deep voice. I do not wish to be disturbed right now, so please go away. At first, I embargoed, and now I can get no peace with all the busybodies running around making my chuckenjidi their business. Yeah, so he's the guy. So he's not gonna talk either, which sucks. Oh, this looks quick. Hmm, nothing hidden in there. I guess we're just looking around now. Ooh. Oh, so she's the daughter of the of the owner of the inn. There's a little doubt when the busy looking woman is the unchallenged mistress. Okay, so maybe that's the wife instead. Sorry. Uh, as she spots you, a look of resignation flashes across her face. You young people never learn to keep out of my kitchen, do you? Sorry, madam, I did not do trespass, but I need to talk to you. Uh, it's always the same. I can never do my work without interruptions, but you won't hear me complaining, so what's it you want? Uh, my name is Nex. I'm investigating theft. You should have said so. It's about time something is going to happen. I tell you, it's uh, a certain... Everything would have been solved by now. But here in the middle of nowhere, they hold an elven lady responsible, and no one seems interested in finding poor Master Fingleton's gems. Uh, uh. Maybe let's. Uh. Uh. I think this will make her suspicious more of me, so we'll ask about the guards first. Oh, you mean Jalam and Talon? They're good men, no doubt. Their tasks keep the peace, and usually they're well up to it. 
but a situation like this exceeds their abilities. Not that I blame them, convincing that th this theft is no job for simple people. I hope you understand, sir. Don't worry, madam, I won't trouble the guards more than they deserve. I'll take you at your word, said Dyke, sir, but if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare food, and you still have your thief to catch. Okay. back to hold me off my work again, did you? I'm afraid so. I was wondering whether you noticed something unusual during the night of theft. Something unusual? How should I? We're sleeping under the roof, whereas poor Master Fingleson has his room downstairs in the cellar, just as his kind likes it the most. Uh, that's kind of stereotypical of goblins hiding in the nooks and crannies, I guess. He's such a regular and welcome guest, and... And of all people, he gets robbed in our house. What a shame. So you know Finkelson. And Sirdenth. Sirdenth. Still a tongue twister, by the way. That wouldn't have happened. And even if it had, there would be proper guards to track the thief down. But whom do I tell? Surely you're from Sirdenth, aren't you? Ah. Uh, Ah, the city of evil. What would I give to live there? But no, uh, uh, Orloth had to buy the inn from this, from his scoundrel brother, the deal of a life. The deal of his life, he said. Uh, true Waste Edge is kind of a remote place, but remote? The edge of the world could be more remote. Mind you, I'm not complaining, it's just... We're days from the next settlement out here. Were it not for all the trade passing through, we couldn't even buy the most basic things we need for a living. Although without trade, wastage wouldn't even exist and we might run an inn in Syrdenth instead. But as so long as the minds of... What the hell? Uzdunka? Uzdunka are there. There is little chance to get or Orloth away from here. Oh, I didn't know that much trade with dwarves run through waste edge. Well, upward from here, the river gets treacherous. Therefore, most boats do not... Most boat... Most boats go no further. The way remaining is covered by caravans, so everything that comes along forever runs past their gates. Besides, few dwarves go further than wharf's, uh, waste edge. So if you want to buy from them directly, this is the best place to meet. There's also an ancient road that leads north towards El Gilad and the human cities. Along with a lot of spices come through that way from Elmin's courts and beyond. But enough chatting, the food will prepare itself. Okay. So it's a common dwarf place, so they're used to all the dwarves. So. What's up with you? The muscular fellow in front of you has an air of troublemaker about him. Scars all over his body and evidence of his readiness to use the sword he is carrying. His eyes, he eyes you with undistinguished distaste as you approach. And who do we have here? A damn freak half-elf, I say. Uh, I don't like you either, friend, but unfortunately I need to talk to you. You? Tell me. What would you... Uh, what would one of your sort want from Alec and Hell? You know they're badass when they refer to themselves by name in third person. Yeah. Real pompous asshole. Anyways. Uh, uh, wondering what someone like you do is doing at least edge because he's an ass. That's not a good... None of your business, half-elf. Don't waste my time, will ya? So it's none of my business that valuables disappear around here and my mistress is held responsible. I don't like the implication. It's not wise going around calling other people thieves. So far I've called you nothing, but if you don't help me with a few answers, I might change my mind. To hell with you, half-elf. What do you want to know? What's your business? What on earth has my business got to do with the if You're just wasting my time with your bloody questions. Ah, he is really, really, really sketchy. So, 
Who's wasting whose time here? The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I leave you to yourself. E even you should understand this. Well, I fear you do not understand, Half Elf. If you keep asking for irrelevant details, you'll accomplish nothing. But I might know a thing or two where you only ask the right questions. Uh, so, man, so what questions should I ask in your opinion? Perhaps it's just me, but I'd ask myself why the thief hasn't left Wayside. Uh, well, why hasn't he? Good question, isn't it? Now, if I were you, Half Elf, I'd be off to a quiet corner and make some use of what brain I had. Uh, uh, let's make. Let's talk to him bad, because he's an utter pompous asshole. Very funny. Should I ever need a fool? I'll send for you. Ha ha ha. Just trying to help. But the smartass like you doesn't need any help, do you? You're the smartass. I certainly don't need yours. For all I know, you might well be a thief. Simpler. Simply answering my questions would be help enough. If you say so, then go on. Ask what you want, even if it's not getting you anywhere. So what's your business? If it makes you happy, I may camp here on my way back from Limebrook, where I had an Dot, 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 appointments. Very sketchy, by the way. Which is absolutely not of your concern. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be the thing. He's gonna be the thief. Or maybe an accomplice. I'm calling it right now. I'm just an innocent traveler caught, up, caught, in, caught in this bloody mess. Okay. So, was that any help? I shouldn't think so. A waste of time, it was. Well, that's it. I have enough of your... I have enough of your useless blather, but I shall be watching you. Very carefully. And... He might try to kill me. Uh, he's a drunk anyways. Uh, nobody may pass through the gates. There's the gates. So, what the heck? Where... Where should I look? Maybe talk to her. Uh, rain? Rain Frost Bloom? Okay. I know who you are, and I do not care what you wish to ask. Now go away. The Yeti of my soul must have summoned. Okay, she's just meditating. What about you? Oliver Redwine. Probably the sun. Uh, uh, hello again, sir. Do you have more questions? Oh, yeah, I did talk to him. Uh, oh, yeah, he's the one who took me to my room. Uh, talk to me about Waystage. Why, yes, would you believe that we have an actual elven lady staying in the inn? Uh, are there other guests, too? Uh, they're just ordinary people, merchants and such. Uh, let's just talk about Ladywood. Uh, Silver. What? <laughs> that's that's the wrong name. Silver hair. Yes, sir. Lady Silver beard from Serendeth and her two servants. Two servants. She frightened me a bit, but now she's locked up in her room. Why would anyone lock her up? Can you imagine, sir? The other lady robbed Master Fingleton in his sleep. I know the adults know this anything. But you heard something that night? Yeah, someone must have been in the stables. But when I went and had a look, they were gone. I see. Thank you for your help. Okay. Can I... Oh! This could be where it's stashed. Oh. Up top. Oh. Oh, there she is. Oh. There we go. There she is. Lady Silverhair. Who looks a lot less, you know, beautiful than I thought she would. Yes, yes, dear. I see you. Please calm yourself. Syndix, I'm relieved to see you. So this is how this would have been stolen if it was her. She would have The situation has clearly gone beyond control. That's certainly my lady. Theft indeed, and theft most grave. This Fingleson may be uncouth, 
but he bears considerable influence because he's a major trader. So a theft from him would be done. Would have dire consequences indeed, but you know I could not have done this thing. Oh, the basement probably links up with uh, with his place too. So that's probably one point against her. Uh, uh, let's just. That's just blathering. Let's actually get some information. Uh, be glad of that. He is an uncouth lout at best. I should have known better to deal uh, fair, fairly with such a rough and uncultured beast. Very racist among all the races here, it seems. I admit he goaded me to rage earlier to my shame, but I have done nothing more than voice my anger. You must believe that. Of course, lady, I believe nothing but your innocence since I arrived. You may trust me to act on your behalf. I thank you for that. Now oh, you must go, lest they find you here and imprison you as well. Free you are... Free you are my hope. I will try to be worthy of your trust, lady. I will return once I know more. And... I can't steal your shit either. So, through the window! Through the walls! Ah, oh, we're finding out a lot of things. An old empty crate, nothing stashed anywhere. I thought, I didn't even think that this was gonna be a path to her, but yeah, that's kinda cool. And this is probably gonna, oh yeah, this goes straight to downstairs. So, check some barrels. Okay, this is all uh, booze. Yeah, wouldn't think anything less. Uh, so, made it. Made it. Made it booze done. Kind. How cheap is this? Okay. Is that hiding? Oh, that's a gap. Okay. Made it to death. That's where I am, and... I think this was a dwarven place. Or gnomish place or whatever. Yeah. Anyways. I think we went here. Yeah, that's her cooking. And this was... Uh, this empty place that probably has some meaning. Has some plaque on the chip. Okay. Can I not open it? No, I can't. But this is his room. So it would be easy enough for him to... Because he's right next door, so he could have easily snuck into his place. So that's one door to the pantry is locked. Okay, so that's another point against this Alec guy. So let's pass through here. You're to the pantry then, eh? No, yeah, you're upstairs, sorry. Oh, let's talk to him, because his room's downstairs. End helm. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, he's still an asshole. Still poking your nose in other people's business. Listen, we really need to go through all this crap again. Actually getting on my nerve. Uh, okay, it's... Okay, it's saying nothing about... So... Okay... Uh... Uh, more about the guests, of course, while you... While you may have met Lady in the yard already... Yeah, yeah... Artist? Okay. What? An artist with a family to yetis? Oh, I thought she was just doing some weird meditation thing. <coughs> she says the wilderness and the nearby mountains inspire her. She's probably the only person around here not bothered by theft. She's never paying much attention to anything but her work. Still, she's a nice person if you get to know her better. Like the rough fellow over there, Alec and Helm. Which is my prime suspect still. 
Burst name from the north. Uh, that's why he's so pompous. Anyways, that's all I know. Uh, and I would say where he goes, trouble follows the foot. That's more foreshadowing to him being the guy. But what can I do about it? He's paying for his room. Although he insists on a cheap one down in the cellar, as long as he's behaving, I could keep an eye. I can but keep an eye on him. You should be aware of him as well. Okay. Uh, there's no questions. Okay. So he purposely went downstairs. So I th think he did because he knew Fingleton would be down there. Eric, he's the apprentice. He mostly keeps to himself. Okay, as Fingleson does not approve of non-dwarfish company. I still wonder why he became a tradesman. What with that aversion to other people. However, he, can, he is as honorable as a dwarf can be. So, he's pretty high, high up in uh, what they're thinking. Uh, I know there's a word for it. I don't know. English is failing me right now. Don't worry, it happens from time to time. Okay, and that's why I'm still a bit surprised about his behavior to the lady silver hair. Okay, and polite dwarf is the most pressing problem right now, so please go on. Uh, Tristan Illing, a merchant from Syria. Since over there, he was away. Okay, but what it was fine. When it was moved by the morning, he wasn't allowed to join it. Okay. Finally, there is Felnar, a healer of some sort. He's training. He's training in medicine and gossip, as it seems. From what I've heard, he must have had a confrontation with the mercenary. Now he's hardly leaves his room. I hope I've given you an idea of the people. Colorful crowd. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Listen, Syntax, I already told you, I know nothing, saw nothing, heard nothing. I would be quite pleased if you could... There is a caravan with saffron waiting for me, worth ten times the money that Dwarf claims I have lost, and if it cannot reach... If I cannot reach it in time, I'll be ruined. Ruined! Nobody will die and buy any saffron if those uh, cut purses from Omen's court arrive with the cheap. Whatever, before I've completed my business in certain death. Okay. Well, leave me around. Okay. Uh, do you perhaps think my, my mistress is in need of stealing it? Okay. Oh, now I understand. You're working for Silver Hair. You're not really investigating anything then, are you? You're just trying to get her freed at any cost. Uh, uh, Hiki. You have an nerve. Excuse me, half elf. I don't have to take this. Go, go, Bob. Okay, so he's just not really. And let's go this way. There you are, Eric Stonebreaker. Before you stand, the young. Before you stands a young dwarf, with an open face and no sign of the traditional beard. Because racism, anyways. His expression shows his intelligence and a trace of humor as he watches you. Eric Stonebreaker, are you? Then I am. Eric Stonebreaker, aspirant of, to the trading mister, uh, business and Master Fingleson's apprentice. But I seem to not remember you, sir. I am Syndex. Well met, Syndex. Only fear that you would be better advised to talk to Master Fingleson if you intend to do so. Actually, that isn't the case. I would like to speak to you about the lady. Lady Silverhair. Hmm? There seems to be hardly any other topic since that incident. I'm sorry, but I don't think I could satisfy your curiosity. Uh, let's dissociate again, so hopefully no one gets the wrong idea. Okay, Eric stiffens for a moment, and it seems you're about to turn... Okay, very well then. It was yesterday in the evening when Lady Silverhair met my master and me in the particular in the parlor next to the common room. So, she intended to buy some rare gems, but it seems she had underestimated their value. She was quite surprised by my master's offer. 
Why, Master Finkelson, this is outrageous. Tis twice as much as I would spend for stones of a superior quality. Do you believe I've never traded uh, for chrysober... burials before? My lady, those cat's eyes are very rare. I doubt that you could acquire anything for that quality for the price I'm willing to grant you. Now, Master Finkelson, you could call these... you call these cat's eyes? They're mere uh, simulophanes. Good gods, I'm no dwarf, but I do know my gems. My offer is 200. For all the good, they will be to me as reagents. So probably for magic, then. You call me a liar? As if I couldn't tell a cat's eye and uh, simulophane apart. Even young Eric here can. 700 and no less. Take it or leave it. Ha, a liar and a thief you are. Indeed, Master Fingleson, but... I need the stones far more than justice against dwarven chief. Three hundred is my final offer, and I sh uh, and that is more than this rubbish deserves. Do not try to charm me, Mr. Silverhair. My prize is set. Think of I think that's supposed to be price. But still. You are but making profit off of my need. I will think about it, but to be frank, you deserve not a single gold piece. a cat's eye. Sometimes a thin narrow band runs across the length of a jam glowing in the light sea that gives them the appearance of a cat's eye, hence the name. Ah, uh, I see it. Finkelson stones were truly of such nature. Well, yes, when looked at a certain way under the right light, no wonder your mistress mistook them for simulfanes. That kind of sounds a little circumstantial. Uh, with the right light, maybe have a hair right behind it. I don't know. It all seems a little... I am kind of biased, because... Whenever I play any MMOs, usually the elves are more magically inclined. That's why I always choose them. So I'm a little more inclined to go with the elves on this one. And dwarves seem so... Uh, well, I'm being racist against dwarves now, but they seem a little sketchy at best. Okay. Is that your opinion or your master's opinion? What do you mean? You are not suggesting your master tried to deceive Lady Silver. That's not important though, but if the gems were of poor quality, they'd be worthless to her and she'd have no reason to steal them. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen them up close, so I have to rely on my master's word. Really? Okay then. I would know the difference if I had them in my hand, but that's unlikely. I see, thank you. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Let us see if we can find them then, because we've exhausted talking to everyone. Okay. You're near the door, so are you trying to leave? Uh. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's one more building. Okay. Oh, it could be stashed somewhere in here. No, no. Oh, this looks promising. Locked Jalom. Uh, plenty of books on singing inside, so I'm thinking that's that spiritual lady or whatever talking about yetis. And Bringen. That's a name I haven't heard. Bringen Artwald. Okay, so perhaps someone could have borrowed that chest? I don't know. Uh, I don't think anyone would hide it under a table, so... Oh, do you want to talk to me now? But Lydia... Okay, the theft, you mean your theft? My precious time when I could be receiving inspiration? I've lost enough of the time. Uh, she probably has all the answers, eh? Ah, uh, one last time. The half hell fixes uh, you with a withering gaze. For a moment, you feel as if you've been skewered. Her voice is full of sarcasm. I look forward to it with all my heart. For now, just go away. Okay, talk to me. 
Nope. Okay, we gotta look around, I guess. What time are we at? 35 minutes. Uh, I gotta check that tree quickly. But you know what? I will go to my room. He moves around all the time. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Reagents, that's uh, something used in chemistry, so perhaps he took it to do what he's currently doing right now. But, that's all speculation, and unfortunately I can't do much more than that right now. So, that's all the time we're going to have for now for this game. But we're going to have our special ending thing right after this. So, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching this commentary of uh, Waste Edge. And, uh, I'm sure there's going to be at least one more episode, if not two. Because we talked to everyone, now we should have all the pieces we need to figure out everything. So I'm not sure how to go in locked chests. So I'm gonna talk to everyone next. Well, I think the person in the kitchen also knows something. Maybe I can open the pantry after talking to her. But that's all speculation, and for now I'm going to have to say see ya, and thank you for watching, yeah, 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 yeah. So right after this, like, it's, I should say right after this, because I'm doing it right now. Well, hello everybody. Name's awesome, we think 6C, self-proclaimed awesomest person on YouTube, but you already know that as this is an additional part of the video. So, what this additional part of the video is, as you probably saw, because you watched the first part, hopefully, and then skip past, we are going to be scratching this here. For one, gambling addictions. And for two, because you might give me better luck, you never know. I hope so. And for three, because I thought it was interesting and fun, and it's something I do often. So I hope that you uh, don't judge me too hard and whatnot. So for now, we're going to do this, and I'm probably going to knock the mic, so hopefully not loud. Okay, 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 beautiful. So what we're going to do here is show you the unscratched ticket and you can see all these things are unscratched but these are the all these scores and this rectangle are the areas to scratch if numbers are repeated three times like let's say if i got unscratched three things that say one thousand dollars then guess what i win thousand dollars but with this thing if I unscratch three that say set for life, then I get that prize right under the title. Went up to $1,000 a week for 25 years, which is the main draw for these ones because I think that would be just plain awesome. So, let's see if I can win anything. Probably not. We'll see. I'm going to do this, because that will be fun. It's like a lot of scratcher ASMR. a 
bump. Let's move that up here. That was only one time we'll do it, because I don't want to have your ears pop the whole way through. So if we look at our thing, and if it zooms correctly, yes, there we go, you could see that we won absolutely nothing. Well, that happens quite often, actually. I have never won any... Well, I have a couple things, but not much. Just five dollars each ticket, usually. But I do win, and that's like maybe ten percent of the tickets I get. So, I usually win in one of these squares, though. And it's usually just five dollars, as I said. I think I won fifteen dollars once, but really nothing else. So, if we continue the scratch in escapades, we will see what we win. So, if you look right here, you will see that we again won absolutely nothing, and you can see the barcode right there. That's if I do win something, that's what they scan to verify that I actually did. And it's not a fake ticket or whatever. So it's already predetermined. It's, yeah, you know. So, we'll scratch a third time. And hopefully you guys bring me luck, because I definitely need it. I definitely want to win some money. All I know is, well, it's all I can assume, really. And let's see, see, see. Okay, this was the one we scratched. So, if we want to let it zoom in there, you could see we again won absolutely nothing. But, uh, as you see up here, I think this is the only area you could win the set for life. So, we're screwed on that prize for sure. But, we will continue. Now I know I haven't won the bonus prize pool at all, so that would be fun to win. Scratchy, scratchy, scratch. Okay. Now in that corner, I'll just read something quickly. Okay, so I read that. Okay, okay, okay. That sounds fun. So, there we go. And you can see right there. I want absolutely nothing yet again. But you can see. There's something different here. It says fun for life. Now, that one has different rules. It's the same as this, except... uh. At first, it gives you $10,000, like a big lump sum, and then after that, it's $1,000 starting. So, definitely something I would have wanted to win too, but again, lost. So, you can see how unlucky I am in lots of things. Like, for example, if I ever wanted to play CSGO little, uh, case unboxings or whatever, I have the worst luck on that kind of stuff. I just did it enough so I had basic skins of some things. So, eh, it seemed fun to me. Because I'm a chronic gambler. Well, not chronic, but pretty bad. And if you see that's wrong, that's there. If you see here, in that little box that says 150, that's what I could win if I won, which was no. Because you need three of everything. So if you get three of the symbols, three identical symbols, you win the prize in the box. Okay. What? The control number?
Okay, okay, never mind. Okay. So, anyways, that was a whole 17, well, 8 minutes now of uh, me scratching a lot of ticket and absolutely losing. But it was still fun for me. Hopefully, it was fun for you. And hopefully, next time I have a lot better luck. I'm probably gonna, not going to do this thing at the end of every video, but some videos for sure I'd love to do that. Because, again, it's kind of addiction and one that I love. Anyways, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Because I should try to do Tuesday, Wednesday for sure. I'll, yeah, yeah, you'll see me tomorrow for sure. Okay, so you guys have good days and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.